Sandfest is one of two major festivals on the Oregon Dunes each summer. This year, it settled on the 4th of July weekend, and activities spread across five days, from the end of June right up until the holiday. One of the best things about the Oregon Dunes National Recreation Area is that it allows plenty of camping opportunities. Sandfest is held at Boxcar Campground, specifically to allow more accessibility from campsites. Plenty of enthusiasts pulled their trailers right onto the sand, but they had to watch out for deep pools thanks to a long, wet spring. Plenty of hotels in North Bend and Coos Bay can accommodate non-campers and are only a few miles away with restaurants and nightlife. A small vendor area served as the main hub for the festivities and included several food options, a music stage and the sandbar, which hosted fight night on the flat screen TVs. The bonfire raged every night next to a kid's mini track and music played constantly throughout the weekend. Sand drags are one of the more popular events and this year, the organizers set up lights for a nighttime showdown. There are plenty of tricked out ATVs and even the occasional drag Jeep. Riders line up grudge match style and are timed through 300 feet with the 400 foot finish line. We also witnessed the sand car challenge, which used a figure eight track that sent drivers across paths and around each loop. With miles of open sand, we spent our time split between exploring the dunes and beach and watching the activities. A freestyle jump exhibition was fun to watch, and there's even a permanent sandboarding layout for some non-motorized fun. Poker runs, side-by-side -side racing, and a show and shine are just a few of the activities spread out over the course of the weekend for families to enjoy. Sandfest is the smaller of the two festivals, but it offers some attractive features, such as a free entry and an emphasis on actual riding. For those just looking to get out and enjoy the sand, it's not quite as busy. It doesn't have a commercialized feel, and is lively and still family friendly. Next time, we'll make the trip with our own trailer and stay for even longer.